Guys, Granny here. I uh, thought I'd do a quick check in with the market, looking at a lot of trades that we're currently in, uh, which we have been printing on over the past sort of like two to three, even four weeks over the month of September. We really did capitalize on the most recent long swing, okay, from here, obviously up into this region uh, that we're seeing at the moment across the market. But obviously, um, in meme coins, we really dominated that meta as well. So right now, um, you will have to bear with me. My internet is a little bit dodgy, but hopefully it loads all my charts nice and clearly. Um, but right now, I do think we do sell off into the weekend a little bit. Um, the CME chart is showing uh, pretty much where price action is, maybe a little bit higher. Um, so that means that I think we probably sell off into the weekend and then pump back towards Monday. Um, really close to that CME closure on Friday. But right now, as you can see daily, um, RSI and stochastic momentum is very high. Um, you do have volatility low and turning up um, with potentially DMI coming down. So in, I think a, a few days here of consolidation back towards this mid range on the daily would be more bullish for me. Um, so likely we do consolidate here. We've obviously gone uh, from start of September all the way to the end of September. Uh, really bullish, like this is one of the most bullish Septembers in history. Um, and as you can see, like we've got this trend line. So as long as we um, find support along the trend line, uh, I remain bullish. Um, we've obviously now created some daily highs back above this high over here. I believe the weekly high is closing uh, tomorrow. So I'd love to see the weekly close, uh, uh, weekly close above this red line. I'm pretty sure that's where it is as well. Unfortunately, I can't change my chart right now. Uh, I might try in a sec. Um, but what I'm looking at is consolidation here over the weekend and then maybe a push towards um, this sort of top of the, the range here that we've been in. So this bullish wedge that we've been forming for many months. Um, so obviously that's a push towards sort of that resistance level there. And then I'd love to see us take out these highs here uh, from July. Now, a few things um, that I wanna say, like if we pump sooner rather than later, then more than likely this bull market ends in Q1, uh, max Q2 next year. If we consolidate here for a little bit longer, so say we consolidate until maybe even November, um, in, even if we have healthy price action until there, we don't start making all-time highs until November, December, then I am very much in the camp that the bull market could last until Q2, Q3 next year. So that's obviously the middle of next year. So we'll play it by ear. Um, let's see if this wants to respond a little bit better to me now and go to the weekly chart. Um, so hopefully there's no delay. And then I've got a range of meme coin trades, um, guys, to look at. Um, obviously, we've been longing a few of them, um, and I do want to be buying a few spots, uh, positions, um, if we do see lower again. And I'll look at some shallow fibs very shortly uh, with you. But as you can see here, guys, um, so momentum is towards the upside on the weekly. Um, we do see DMI still sort of leaning towards the bottom, which does show me that we probably just aren't quite there yet. But we are obviously setting uh, a higher high currently. It just obviously does depend on the close of this weekly candle. So again, I apologize. My internet is a little bit dodgy. I have obviously looked at this. The stochastic momentum uh, is at 61K and we're very much above that. So uh, it would uh, likely move towards the upside here over the next period. And then we will obviously recalculate that uh, moving into next week. But yeah, I remain very bullish here. Like um, we've obviously taken out the daily highs and hopefully we take out the weekly highs here. And then obviously a move back towards 68 to 70K is where I would expect price to probably move maybe after a little bit of a consolidation um, on the daily as we just talked about before. All right, so let's go to the main coin charts. Um, I do kind of, I'm looking for longs on Ethereum and um, Solana and obviously our top plays such as like uh, Jupiter and Radium. Uh, those types of altcoins. Um, Render's been one that I have keep an eye on. IMX as well. So you want to be following the right meta. So I'm looking at those AI tokens. I am considering IMX um, and a little bit of a gaming exposure, maybe Beam under the AVAX narrative as well. But we'll look at those uh, maybe next week once we do maybe see price come back down. So now I thought I'd dive into the positions um, that we've been taking over the past couple of weeks on uh, several different meme coins. I think I've got about 20 up here in the tabs. Boppy, obviously it's the most recent trade. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Um, as you can see, we did pump and make over a 2X. I think we got in at about, was it five, 
100 or 500 or 450, maybe it was 450 actually, I think. So yeah, I, I took uh, my initials and a little bit of profit up here. I think I took 70% of my trade out. Um, you know me, I'm very aggressive with trades like this. Um, and that's what you guys should be practicing as well. Like compounding your wealth over time, being uh, aggressive with your profits and um, making profit over time is the best strategy in my opinion. Um, yeah, you might not get 100x, but at the same time, uh, people that get 100x are generally very lucky and it's more of a gamble than actually trading and we like to trade. So right now I'm watching this pullback. Obviously, I am keeping an eye on holders mainly on this one because it was uh, rumored that this was obviously going to be shield. Um, so we have seen a few top holders sort of increase um, in the whale capacity. So I am keeping an eye on these numbers. I still am a little bit concerned um, about the amount of supply that is hold, held in this top 10 holders. That's why I was very aggressive with the dump. But yeah, I think I hold about 25% of my uh, breakout trade from here down at 450. Uh, so it was about there. Yeah, so about 450 is where we got in. So I obviously took the 2x once it reached uh, about that 900 to 950k which as you can see, it, it obviously rejected. This is on the daily, uh, rejected from the, the 0.618 now. And any opportunity probably is um, in a pullback. So if we do start to see this come back down to 515K, I probably do add another bag here. And, and again, I saved myself. So if I took profit up here at 900K, and I then rebuy, like I saved myself and my bag 42% in a downwards move. And just to show you the comparison, if you then obviously take it back up to the 900K mark, look at the amount it has to pump to obviously get you back to break even, so 75%. So that, that's a big reason why I take aggressive profits on swing trades like this and hold a little moon bag, um, obviously if it continues up on, on trades, um, which I'll show you later, like some of the trades that we took like on Selfie and Sigma and those types of trades. Um, now we'll move into the more macro uh, main coins that we've been talking about. So they're the ones that we've been longing and they're obviously the ones that we are going to be uh, holding in spot for a very long time. So Gig, uh, Gig is probably the first one that I'm looking at. Um, we obviously bought the dip down here at the 130 mark. We then bought again here during the breakout at about 145 mil. So we're very much uh, nearly, like you're up 2X nearly on this trade already. And I think this is a no brainer. Um, obviously we are sort of retesting all time highs at the moment. And I think this is just an absolute no brainer moving forward. Like this this community is huge. It's a great meme. And if you do look at holder scan, I believe Giga has some of the most crazy statistics with holders increasing um, with diamond hands, those types of things. Um, and again, bear with me, my internet is a little bit dodgy. Um, but if we do come and have a look, yeah, like it, every time I look at Giga, it is literally green across the board, like in dips, but also in pumps. So like you just can't, you can't argue with that. As you can see, we're seeing diamond hand is um, uh, still only hold a small percentage. You've got really good, like that is incredible there. Like the fact that the top 25 holders hold under 20%, I love that. So that's why I'm very bullish on Giga. And I think any pullback on Giga, I probably ape in another uh, big bag. So as you can see, it, it hasn't really slowed down compared to a few other memes. And that's why I'm holding it longer term compared to something like selfie or, or mini or those types of plays, which we'll look at very shortly. Uh, Moo Moo, obviously this pumped due to the, the uh, listing on um, exchanges. Now I did take a bit of profit on my spot position and ideally I will be looking for a buy. Now how I'll go about uh, looking back into that, obviously we broke out of this wedge. Um, I think it was nearly a 2X, so we got in, um, it was 83 million, so just a little bit above that. So as you can see, it was about a 1.8X move. I did decide to take some profit on that spot trade just in that because I knew it would probably sell off um, due to macro weakness, but obviously um, due to that uh, event being quite obviously a fundamental drive. So like if something does get listed on an exchange, generally it does uh, go back down after. So as you can see, it is down 20% on that. So I am very curious uh, about picking up some uh, more Moo Moo soon. But as you can see, what I like to do is I use the fibs from the swing low to the swing high. And then I look to ape in here. So that's where we're looking at on the long. And that's why I did take the long and uh, we're currently up on that long, I think. Uh, not a lot, I don't have it open. Uh, but we are up on that long, I think we caught this wick down here. So, um, and then obviously if you do play, like you can take the swing trade as well, like we're seeing here. And then I'd be looking to ape into this sort of region down here and ideally even down back to the 786 if that's how it plays out. Uh, but ideally what we do is also I like to do this and, and use the whole range to just have a look as well. So um, as you can see, we are obviously, we bounce off this 786, which is a, exactly why I was buying it down here. And then obviously we are retesting some of this uh, at the moment. So if I do put it down a little bit closer, there we go. 
So I'm looking to long this whole region here. Literally, this is opportunity as well on Moomoo. Um, let's move on. Uh, we'll go to Mog next. I think it is, no, it might be Michi next. Sorry, my tabs again. I'm just trying to close them so that we can be nice and accurate. So uh, Michi obviously broke out. Again, I was more aggressive on this compared to uh, Mog and Pepe and Whiff and even Giga. Um, they're just, those four are just fundamentally um, way better. The TA is more um, stronger in those as well. So something like this for, for Michi. I mean, if you do look at the weekly, this is what I'm looking at. So I did draw this. Um, we did obviously pump up here to the 618, which is where I did take some profit off the table. I think I got it, uh, sold a bag at about 130 mil. Um, so that was a beautiful swing trade. Uh, I think my main DCA was around that 83. Uh, so it was around this level here, the 786. So it was around the 83 to 88 mark. So I did obviously make a nice little, little bag there. I think I sold about 128, 129 mil. So yeah, I made a 1.5X on that trade. And I did think, obviously, moving into the weekend that we might come back down. So for me, I'm literally, what I've drawn here is what I would love to see. I'd love to see it come back down retest maybe 90 mil i probably start to aid back into this once it does retest some of these highs so that that highs at 92 if we do come back there that far maybe uh but if not obviously i'll be starting to ape in and if you do look at its holders as well it is uh currently very strong as well so for me like as you can see it's retesting it has retested the 0 0.382 off the swing low to the swing high and I, I'm accumulating in this region here. I'll start to DCA. If we do see it come all the way back down here to 71 mil, I'll probably look for a long opportunity. I do think you can long it, but I'll have to double check. But that would be an absolute steal. So that's what I'm looking at for, for Michi is DCAing back into this bag here. I took all profits off the table on that trade. Now, Mog, obviously this one I'm not selling. Uh, we caught the dip down here. Um, we, we actually had the long as well, but I closed it um, up here because of um, other macro events. Um, so, uh, I mean, we could have longed this and absolutely printed, but hey, we, we caught it on spot and that's the main thing too. So this chart, obviously, with and, and Mog are very bullish and, it, and even Pepe. That's why um, I remain extremely bullish on them and happy to hold them during times like this. Now, obviously, the swing low to the swing high is what I'd be looking at. And, and for me, I start to DCA back into MOG um, or even look for longs in this sort of region here. So anywhere below the 382 to the 0 0.786. So that's a quite a large region. Like, I suppose I could dump, like, yeah, all the way down 29%. Um, so, but that's that's how I like to trade. You want really good risk to reward entry. So happy holding a uh, spot bag on MOG. And then ideally, if we do see it come back down here, we'll be looking for longs uh, very, very soon. All right, let's move on to Pepe. Now, very similar chart again. This is why, like, fundamentally, these are the strongest memes. Um, they have strong communities. They they show their token quite a lot. But obviously, it's the TA that that really shows me a lot of strength. And and as we can see, we 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 went to town on this. We've got a leverage trade open on Pepe, which I think is at two hundred percent or maybe one hundred and fifty percent for my five X long. I think it is or ten X long. I can't remember. It's not very much leverage, so it was a, an easy trade. As you can see, we've broken up uh, 1.4x from the break and we were accumulating this in spot backs for a very long time. So I'm very happy with that trade. And again, I think this plays out over a long period of time. And again, any opportunity is in dips back towards this, probably this high here at about 3.97. Let's call it four bill. If you do see it come back towards four bill or below, I'll probably be aping more of my, I might even rotate some of my Bitcoin bag um, into some of these top meme coin plays because I think they're just gonna, they're gonna outperform. It's been the, the cycle narrative for a year and a half now. And I just don't see that changing anytime soon. All right, with this is probably the most bullish chart that I like that I see in crypto right now. I mean, you've had consolidation from literally like the highs, like literally when Bitcoin made an all-time high, it's kind of when um, uh, like with obviously did a little bit later, as you can see at the end of March. But what we're seeing is consolidation in a bullish wedge for months and months. Like that is crazy to look at. And so for me, this was an absolute no-brainer in in obviously. Um, spot bags, but then obviously we took this long. It's up 200% on a 5X leverage trade. So yeah, no brainer. And I'm going to hold majority of that bag. I have obviously taken uh, a little bit of profit on my leverage trades, um, but I'm, I'm very much looking to DCA into this. Likely if we do see it here at 1.9 bill, I think I'll DCA quite hard into with both in spot, but obviously in leverage as well. And um, again, the main reason that I was like super shilling this and saying that this is gonna outperform is because we held this low here multiple times at 1.3 bill. 
1.4 bill, 1.3 bill. That was like that is an accumulation phase there, showing higher lows multiple times. So that within this obviously this massive uh, bull wedge, and then obviously this retest here of the 786 was like okay, this is definitely going to outperform, and sure enough, it definitely has. So um, I'm I'm very happy about this. We caught it at about 1.3, 1.4. So we'll go from 1.4 just to see it's up 1.6 uh, x, which is crazy for a token that's obviously uh, multi billion. So beautiful trade with this one. As I said, would look to ape back into more of this bag at about 1.87, 1.9, uh, let's call it there. Now, Mother, obviously, um, I did, we had this long, like, holy hell, man, we had this long at 35 mil. Oh, look at that. That's a that's a 3.2x. Like, oh, I should have kept it open. But hey, look, we, we like, I've, I've obviously been traveling, so I haven't had a chance to be in front of the charts all the time. But that's trading. Like, you're not going to win every trade, um, and it's better to protect your losses um, in, in situations like that. So, as you can see, beautiful chart. Um, something like this, I probably am not really interested in now for quite a while, unless we do obviously start to maybe come back down and retest some lower fibs of the swing lows. So, all of these lows were the same, and then we made some high lows here. And obviously, we did have this breakout. We heard that she was going to go to breakpoint. And that's why we took the spot trade and obviously the, the leverage trade as well. So if you are still holding amazing, you're up 2.2x, uh, sorry, 3.2x. If you're not, uh, so be it. We look for the next trade that is something like this. So for me, I would much rather buy uh, Mother lower than some of uh, like Whiff and Pepe. It's just a much stronger token. Uh, sorry, Whiff and Pepe and Mog, Giga are much um, better tokens to be holding um, over the long run. So something like this, like I can kind of see this trend forming here. So maybe something down here, if we do see it come back towards 84 mil, which kind of aligns with these highs over here, that's where I'd probably look to say your risk to reward is, is a bit better there um, for probably spot accumulation, um, maybe longs. We'll have a look at what the rest of the market is doing. All right, on to Epic. Um, this one, yeah, just, man, oh man, like I want this to do well. The te like the team, they do amazing memes, guys. Like they, they smash the content. So we are seeing holders sort of increase. I mean, you could still in theory say we have started to make some higher moves off the 0 0.86, um, but I do want to see this breakout. I want to see some big candles stepping in for volume. And obviously we still are up on this trade from 6.9 mil. So I'm just holding a small bag of this um, just to catch it ideally. And then obviously if I see strength, I will happily add to it um, once I see strength and volume kick in. So holding this for now. Uh, I mean, if you want to stop loss, like it, it, I don't think this is ever going to break down too low because it's got diehard community and some market makers slash whales in it. So I don't see Mando and, and OSF really ever selling it. So for me, I think this likely does hold that sort of six mil region. So if you do see it go back down there, towards that 0 0.886 that's probably a really nice swing trade to maybe another high like that's a 60% move so something like that is what I probably would love to see to accumulate a little bit more all right, on to Ponky. Um, this one obviously is really interesting. This is a funny chart because obviously it pumped very aggressively. We caught that um, earlier this year, which was great. But I don't know, like I'm not convinced here. Like we see a little bit of volume here. Um, this is why I didn't take the long on it compared to other tokens. I just haven't really seen a lot of strength. So this would be the support. I'd love to see a retest probably down here at 166. Then I probably ate more of a spot bag to see this retest. And then perhaps we might see some volume kick in. So come back down here, do something like that. Would I'd love to see it. So for me, happy holding this um, small bag in spot. I'd love to see it come down here, maybe show me some strength off this low here as well, off the retest of the breakout range. I want to see new holders stepping in. So let's actually quickly have a look because I actually haven't had a look on holder scan for Ponky for quite a while. So let's see what it's telling me right now which might um, give me a bit of indication. Yeah, so you still, yeah, so you've got a lot of people stepping in, which is great. Um, top holders, 10%. Yeah, see, top 10 holders own 34% is quite high, but oh, it's all because it's on exchanges. Okay, so that's not too bad. Okay, whereas you got, yeah, your top holders here are, uh, yeah, what's that? Like two, five, seven, 10% in the top 10. Yeah, so it's not too bad. So keeping an eye on Ponky, guys, I think it is a good trade if we do see the retest down here. All right, now this is a meta that I think could potentially take off. So. Um, picking up some MAGA here, so Trump obviously on um, Ethereum, I'll, I'll share this very shortly. Um, I think this is a really good uh, risk to reward entry. Um, I will, I wonder if I can long this actually. I'd much rather long this than buy this on Ethereum <laughs> because I just don't have an Ethereum or have like 0.1 Ethereum. It's just not worth it for me. So something like this is a beautiful swing trade that I'm looking at. And particularly if he does win the president um, race, then this this could break out very nicely. Like this is a perfect greeny trade. So we'll keep an eye on this, guys. But Trump, 
Let's have a look at holders. So you know what, if holders are going up, I'll probably buy a spot bag and look for the long. Um, I wonder if Blowfin has it. I might have to, let's let's have a look at that. Um, Blowfin, so okay, let's have a look and see if it does have it or not. So we're seeing a little bit of holders step in, which is good. Uh, it is on MEXC, so I don't know if I can long it on Blowfin. Let's have a look. Uh, it's called MAGA, isn't it? Oh, Trump. Yeah, okay, interesting. I Let's go to MEXC. I'm not logged in on MEXC, so I won't do that. I want to see futures. Uh, I'll load. I'll have a look at that in the background once it's loading. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back to this chart and share that very shortly. It, it, it's pumping right now while we're talking. I might have to try and buy this on Pepe Boost ETH. I don't know how much I have. Uh, that's the Pepe Boost Soul. Let's go here and let's look at, no, let's, that one. Okay. Let's put it in there. So yeah, I don't have much ETH at all, but I'm going to buy. I probably don't even have enough. Wait, what? Withdrawable. I don't even know. All right. Um, so I don't even have, so buy X ETH and let's go to the bottom and let's go 0 0.075. Is it going to let me do it? What's it currently? Yes. Oh, buy, sell tax at 1.1. One, one. Oh, I didn't even know that. Anyway, okay. So we're in. We're in at 0 0.075. Okay. So I'm happy holding that. I'll share that very shortly once I release this video. Uh, now, this is why I sold mini and stuff, guys. So this is why I'm super aggressive on my um, sort of trends, metas, narrative plays, because these turn over so quickly and dump. Compared to something like Pepe and Whiff, this is why it's so important to like, and the classic examples, the animal matter, meta right now. So be aggressive with your profits on these. Hold a 1%, like a 10% moon, moon bag if you want, because a lot of these turn over. So mini, not really interested now at all. I'd want to see consolidation for a lot longer. Probably something like this is what I would like to see now for mini before I do start to become interested again. I mean, if it does look to maybe bounce here at the 618, that could be a really good buy at 12.56. Let's go selfie. Same thing again, guys. This is why I was super aggressive on it. Again, you can probably now move your trend because that's a pretty clear high. Uh, this is a pretty clear low. So actually we could be seeing whether it likes to hold this sort of region right now. So keep an eye on the support right now. But if it obviously does break, likely this does head back down towards its 786. Quite a bearish chart. So not touching selfie. Again, this is why we took profit break, breakout uh, profits, guys. And this is why I'm not holding them. And that's why I'm holding other trades. Look at that. It's down heaps already. Let's go to Sigma, same thing. So this is what I mean, guys. I've been super aggressive on these because they do turn over a lot quicker than obviously your top meme coins. Ginian, uh, something I'm interested in just having a look at. As you can see, we haven't really seen too much happening. Um, I see a lot of people talk about this one on the timeline. So I, I assume a lot of coals are in this one um, because that's usually who I see. Um, but if we do have a look, a breakout could be forming soon. So this could be a potential opportunity for a swing trade here um, around that 18 mil mark. So I'm keeping an eye on that one. Uh, Ginger was one that popped off recently. Again, I'm not gonna be chasing a chart like this. That's not very old. Um, I'd rather see, and like you know my charts, I like to see uh, probably consolidation bottoms form. I'm not aping into that. Pesto one that we faded and that went up over 10X. As you can see, bang, you've gotta be so aggressive on trades like this. As soon as you start to see it sort of turn over, guys, take some profit off the table, hold a moon bag but take some profit off the table always. This likely comes back down all the way to this order block down here, if not lower in my opinion. Like if we take the FIB and have a look at it uh, from the top to the all time. Yeah, look, we've already retested 618, but we're setting lower highs. So likely this does come back down a lot lower. If you are in this, I'm keeping an eye on that as well. So I'll close that. POG, classic example as well, all time highs, take profit guys. As you can see, we're retesting the 786 right now as well. <coughs> as well. So I know Craig did really well on this token, um, but for me right now, this is where I now step back in and say, okay, if I see holders starting to uh, increase, so if we do have a look at that, uh, so Trump, so we go back to POG, have a look, and <coughs> let's see what its stats. Yeah, so nothing really showing me a lot of interest here. Top 10 holders still own 24%. Um, so for me, it's something I'm not really interested in at the moment. I'd love to see maybe a bottom form here. So maybe a double bottom like this. Um, and as you can see, sort of the retest and the breakout area still has some time. So we could see it sort of, yeah, trend sideways here for another week. That's when I'd look for a, a opportunity on POG. So I hope that gives you um, up to date information, guys. And just a reminder, we've been printing on our leverage trades as well. Um, I did take a lot of profits on these trades. Um, uh, I, I'm holding about 
uh, let's say 60% on these trades. So these two up the top, taking probably 80% of the profit on those two. Um, these ones down here, so Brett, Banana, with uh, Mu, uh, NMR, Alluvium, uh, Cardona, and Pepe. Um, those ones I took about only 30% off the table, 30, 40% off the table. So I'm looking for those longs, as I showed you before, um, if we do start to see lower. So yeah, obviously, let me know if you have any questions, guys. Uh, hope you're doing well, and hopefully um, I can do another video update soon. Uh, I just won't confirm until uh, I can obviously uh, let you know live if that's happening. All right, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.